Hey everybody, Nick here, and I got a viewer request to talk a little bit more about the tie lock. Uh, because I think this view was on the fence and wanted to make sure I still think it's a gem even after carrying it for a while. And in fact, its gem status is just stronger for me, and let me talk a little bit about why. This ends up getting a whole bunch of EDC time for me. This ends up in my pocket more often than even I really expected. And that's because it's a really great all-arounder knife for the kind of office environment I work in. And let me explain why. The blade is long enough to do damn near anything. Uh, when you've got a knife like the Chaparral, which has a very short blade, there are some tasks that kind of go off the table. Uh, you can't cut all the way through an apple, for instance. You can't, uh, you know, some kind of foam cutting gets really awkward if you've got a very short blade. But the tie lock's got enough blade for any kind of office EDC task, no problem. The tie lock feels very tough. I mean, sure, it's not going to be a bushcrafting knife, um, but relative to something like the Menandi, although the Menandi's tough, I did some um, batoning with it recently. You should watch that video. I'll link it below. Um, but, you know, there's always a question with the Menandi, and there's not really a question with the tie lock. It's not going to want to be what I'm going to use to beat on. If I'm doing, like, home improvement day, I'll probably carry a razor. But nonetheless, um, for the office use, this is plenty tough enough. It's also very pretty, and that really helps it be pretty unintimidating. Um, you take this out of your pocket, it opens slowly, it's kind of, oh, that's a cool mechanism. Nothing about this screams huge, massive weapon. Uh, and so, you know, in that way, it blends in very nicely, and it's a piece of art. People, you take this out of your pocket, and people are like, wow, that's kind of pretty. And then they realize it's a knife. And, you know, so that's a very nice little thing. But mostly, it's the size and the weight. This is a tiny knife in its folded state. I mean, it's not much bigger than your Mnandi in pocket, and that's a beautiful thing. And compared to your Chaparral, it's thinner. And compared to some of the other EDC options that I really like, like your Graham Razel, it's ridiculously tiny, which is a beautiful thing. Because when you put this in your pocket in the morning, you kind of forget that it's there. Uh, it's not heavy, it doesn't block access to other things in your pocket, it's just hanging out, and then when you need it, it's there. So that's a beautiful thing. The only thing that I've come to dislike about this particular knife uh, is the clip. This clip is just no good. Um, I was kind of calling it a gimmick in my initial review, and now I just call it bad. And the reason for that are the same things that I've touched up on, uh, touched on in other places. Uh, sorry about that. The, there's just no upside to this clip. I mean, sure, it reduces wear and tear on your pockets, but that's not a huge issue at all. And this thing snags on freaking everything. You get in the car, snags on your seatbelt. You carry in a box, it'll snag and dig into the box. Um, and overall, it just doesn't fit the rest of the knife either. Uh, the rest of the knife is a very smoothly designed thing, and this is some weird H.R. Geiger kind of affair that's stuck onto the side of it. So I'm actually going to try and order another clip for your, your tie lock here, because this is really the main thing. This clip is the main thing keeping this out of my pocket on any given day. And that's just a shame. But, you know, aside from the clip, and even, frankly, with the clip, this knife is a gem. I, I really do like this knife a lot, and I think for office work type of situations, this is not a bad grail. This is not a bad thing to have your, your eyes set on. If you love the design and you love the idea of a lightweight, capable, pretty knife, the tie lock is a really, really excellent place to go. Um, I just wish Chris Reeve would do something about that damn clip. Anyways, um, still love the tie lock. Hey, you know who you are. Buy a freaking tie lock, okay? Sorry. And uh, the rest of you, have a wonderful day. Bye now.